hello friends in this session there will be discussion about bank account of missing person friends on certain occasions it can happen that nominee or legal heirs of a missing person approach the bank to make payment from account of the missing person so how to handle that type of situation friends the missing person fall into two categories one is a person who is missing in a normal course and another a person who is missing because of natural calamities so some natural disaster has taken place as a result the person is missing so we shall discuss these two situations one after another first we shall discuss about the person who is missing in normal course when we talk about the person missing in normal course we have to follow the provisions of indian evidence act 1872 according to section 107 and 108 of this act the settlement of claims of missing person account is to be ensured section 107 here deals with presumption of continuance of that missing situation and section 108 it deals with presumption of death so if a person is missing for a long period then it may be presumed that that person might have died so whenever a person is missing at least for 7 years from date of his being reported to police by way of an fir he will be treated to be a missing person so first there should be clarity about who is a missing person i am repeating missing person is a person who is not traceable after lapse of 7 years even from the date when he was reported to be missing so this is provision of section 108 in such cases the legal heirs or the nominee of that particular person they can approach a competent court and they can raise express presumption of death in such cases if a court presumes that person has died then in that case the court will issue an order or a certificate of death and based on that the claim of missing persons account can be settled there are rbi directions also on this issue according to rbi direction banks can formulate their own policy based on their risk perception this legal position and also circumstances of each individual case so these are general legal positions based on this position and based on their risk perception and individual circumstances of each case bank boards can formulate a policy further banks can fix a limit to settle such claims without any documentation other than fir non traceable report and indemnity what does it mean without insisting on a certificate of presumption of death issued by court banks can fix some limit in such cases the claim can be settled by banks by obtaining fir by obtaining non traceable report of the person and by obtaining indemnity this is how the claims in respect of persons missing in normal course are to be handled by banks now let us go to the second situation those persons who are missing as a result of natural calamities friends where a person is missing 
in a natural calamity there are government of india guidelines in august 2013 the office of registrar general of india under ministry of home affairs government of india had devised a procedure and this procedure related to registration of death and issue of death certificate in respect of those persons who are missing in natural calamities affected areas in uttarakhand RBI has advised the banks that banks can settle their claims covered by MHA circular and for this purpose banks need not ask for production of any documentation other than the death certificate issued by designated officer and letter of administration so those persons who are missing as a result of natural calamity if they are covered under these guidelines issued by ministry of home affairs so their claims can be settled on the basis of the death certificate and letter of indemnity but those persons who are not covered under this circular their claims can be settled by following the procedure as applicable to normal missing persons well friends i am sure the contents of this video will benefit you thank you for watching the video